it is a rainy day here in Denver, so I'm keeping this hair covered so it hopefully stays a little bit dry, but I'm gonna walk you through what a productive day looks like. I'm Julie Bauer Roth, the food, fitness, and lifestyle blogger behind Paleo MG. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share my favorite food, fitness, and wellness tips, and then hopefully help you get a little bit more productive so you can live your best damn life. What are these cars? <laughs> <laughs> freaking you out on a busy street. Anywho, the whole reason I want to share this video is because I work for myself. So the only person who can hold myself accountable is me. And so I have to really stay on task to get all my work done and not fall behind with any of the contracts that I have, with any of the obligations I've set, and with any of the standards I've set for myself. And that's why I really like to set out my schedule pretty strict. And then some days when I just don't have the energy, I can let off a little bit. But on these days I have energy, especially in pregnancy, I am go, go, go. So let's get into it. So I like to have little breakfast or lunch or coffee dates with my friends during the week because I work through the weekend most of the time. And so I always love catching up with my other friends. And so I'm starting today, Monday, off with breakfast at my favorite restaurant. It's called One Fold. They use the best cooking oils and their food is phenomenal. And it's a rainy day here in Denver. So they have congee and it is so freaking good. For me to stay productive and to stay on task, I like to write out my weekly schedule just in my notes section of my phone. I literally just write down hour by hour what I need to be doing. So today I'm meeting my friend Bree at eight having breakfast, then I'll head home by 9.30 and I'll start my other work from there. But I write out hour by hour everything that needs to get done and I start checking that off the to-do list. If something doesn't fit in and I have to move it to the next day, I just find whatever is least important and then I pick that and that's all I do so I'm gonna start with breakfast get my belly full and this little girl fed and then I'm gonna start this day off with work I got a workout I got some more work to do and I'm gonna take you along for the ride So I'm back home. I had kongi or kanji. Everybody seems to pronounce it completely differently, <laughs> no matter who I talk to. And breakfast potatoes, and it was so good. So now I'm back home and I have some work to get done. So I have a blog post with Daily Harvest that I just need to finish and get all live. And then I have some other content that I need to share, like Instagram stories and a reel and get all that uploaded. So I'm gonna get that work done before I move on to the next. Let's go. up my blog post, got that live for Daily Harvest, and now I'm filming some stories for a brand called 88 Acres. So some brands want to see content ahead of time, and some brands don't care. And they want to see the content ahead of time. You just make sure you're saying everything right, you say the discount code right, all that kind of stuff. So I'm recording stories about their oat bars that are so good, and their granola that I haven't stopped eating since I started recording these stories. But what I'll do is record these stories. I put them all in Dropbox folder and so they can easily see all the videos. And then I record or I write down the text. And so the brand can see the text that'll be on each one of the slides once they go live. So I'm recording these three days ahead of time and then they'll go live in a few days. So now that the stories are recorded, I got them in a Dropbox folder. Now I'm just gonna type up all the text and I'll be able to send that into the brand so they can review it ahead of time, get that all cleared to go, and then I can get those live in a few days. So I'm gonna type that up. And then I also have, what do I have to do? Oh, whenever I work with a brand, they wanna see the analytics of how the stories did, the post did, the blog post, whatever it is. So I have some analytics to turn into a brand to HSN. And so I'll download all those analytics and get that over to the brand as well. So more computer work to do. So 
now it's time for a little lunch. I'm just <laughs> eating some quick leftovers because I have a workout in about an hour. So I'm just trying to get some fuel in because she's hungry and I'm hungry. And then I got a workout soon. So eating, finishing more work, and then off to a workout. So one thing I wanted to touch on before I head to the gym and get a little workout on is while I'm doing all these different things like recording content for a brand, getting content live, um, I'm working on my program, I'm working on all kinds of random things here and there. I am also getting on Instagram stories just to connect with people. And I turned my messages off a little bit ago when I got pregnant because it was analysis paralysis, too many messages, it was really overwhelming. And I want to connect with people and talk to them and let them get to know me. And so they feel like they know who they're following. And so I do a lot of question and answer boxes on my stories. And so today I did a Q and A and I'm just trying to answer those questions as my day goes on. So while I'm also doing some of this like behind the scenes stuff, I'm trying to be present on social media at the same time. So always answering people's questions and trying to connect with people, even though I don't have my messages on at the time. Hopefully that will change in the future because I really love talking to people, but it becomes a little overwhelming when you're going through it in the first and second trimester and even the third and people are very opinionated, especially about parenthood. So anywho, I'm gonna answer a few more questions and then head to the gym. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And actually today I'm recording a new YouTube video that will go live in the future of like what a kind of productive day looks like. So recording that right now. Great ISO. Nice job keeping the shoulder to press, shoulders out of the mix. Look at that lat on her stretch there. When she stretches that arm forward, you can see her lat in her back. Good on ya, Jules. Some heavy ass dumbbells right here with Jules. Let's go, Jules. Let's go. Yeah. That ear pull, finishing them off. They tired. We ain't listening now. Let's get it. Come on, baby. Jules and I got these bridge flies, knees banded. We flying in this little bridge position right here on the ground. Got some heavy ass weights right here going right into a back fly after this. That was honestly probably my best workout my entire pregnancy. <laughs> right now I'm 28 weeks. So that feels very good to have a workout that felt incredibly hard and challenging for the first time because I had enough energy for it. The first trimester has honestly been the best of all three trimesters so far. So hoping that sticks. Now I'm gonna head back home, eat a little snack and then get to work. Okay, I made a little afternoon smoothie. Just got some raw milk in there, some berries, some collagen, super simple, but look how thick that is. It's not even settling to the bottom. <laughs> so now I'm gonna make a recipe for the blog and I wanna make like, I don't know what the title's gonna be yet, but strawberry jam bars. So here we go, let's get to cooking. Okay, these bars are made. Now they just need to cool and then I'll be able to slice into them and photograph them and all that jazz. So I'm gonna let these cool while I go work on my pregnancy program. So should I be on the stairs uh, trying to get a photo? Probably not safe. Actually, I should put those in liner. Probably not safe as a pregnant person, but 
<laughs> this is the best lighting in the house at 4.30 in the afternoon. So I'm going to photograph these and then download the images and get them edited. Then I'll be done for the day because she's slowing down. <laughs> That has been a big freaking day for me during this pregnancy. But now, day is done. Got to make some dinner. Got to take a shower and then watch The Last Kingdom. We're watching it for the second time and I'm so obsessed. <laughs> but I want to hear from you. How do you stay productive? Are you like me and like to make a to-do list that you can check everything off? Or do you simply like to just wing it because your day is always changing? Everybody's life is so incredibly different. So I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe. I'd love to have you so you can see these videos every single week. I'm Julie Bauer Roth of Paleo MG. Thank you so much for joining me and stay tuned. I have a couple other videos I think you're going to like.